Hi, good morning. Welcome back to Mike Makes It. On the bench and on test is the Fluke Volt Alert. A little device that uh, if you're looking for a live cable in a fuse box, this will help you determine if it's there or not. You should use one of these to follow up to make sure you're absolutely correct, but certainly one of these will get you near the issue you're looking for. Uh, there's three variants Fluke sell of this, all very similar and kind of ultimately all do the same thing. There's a 1AC-2 that has an on-off on switch and will detect AC mains voltages between 9 and 1000 volts. This one we're looking at, which I've chosen, is an always-on device and apparently, according to their website, detects between 90 and 1000 volts AC, although reading on here, it's only good for between 200 and 1000 volts AC. So. I'll need to check that on the website, and if it's wrong, I'll uh, put it in the comments. But certainly on the device, I've got 200 volts to 1,000 volts AC, which is ideal for the UK because we run about 240, 250 volts. If you're in the US, this ain't going to do you a lot of good. We're not in the US, we're in the UK, so uh, that's good. And the third version looks a little bit different on the end here because it's got an inbuilt flashlight. That's the LVD2. Uh, that's good for 90 to 600 volts AC, all AC only detectors, not, may, uh, not DC at all. So bear that in mind, AC only. With the one I've got and the one we're going to give it a quick test, you've got a battery check light, so press the button and the end lights up. You'll still be very wise going over to a live mains cable to start with to make sure it is detecting correctly. Because the worst thing, you don't want to get in a fuse box, think the wire's dead when it's not. So always double, tech, double check these against a definite presence of mains voltage or, or AC voltages. So we'll switch this on. This is powered off at the moment. It's just a, a bare cable. Right, powered on at the mains. Don't want to be touching the coppery bits of the cable. Now, you may have seen an earlier video where I had a similar tool which was rubbish, basically. It was about £15 from Amazon. It looked to be really good. It had an LCD display in it, all sorts, but it was very insensitive. You'd be able to put it on this cable here and it would show live. Um, you put it on this cable, the neutral, and it would show live. It's very, very insensitive. So I'm hoping with the Fluke being a, you know, a really good product, it's going to be a little bit more sensitive because if you're in a fuse box, obviously the wires are all very close together. And you're not going to be able to differentiate between a live and a dead wire so well. So let's just have a little go. Make sure this works. It's literally just out the bag today. So nothing on the neutral, which is good. Nothing on the live. Uh, nothing on the earth. And we go over to the live. And we're probably 10 mil away and that's lit up. So I'm not sure. Let's go on the... Yeah, see, at that point of me touching the neutral, I'm, I'm about, still about 10 mil away from the live. On the older device, the one I sent back to Amazon, this would be detecting now. So that would be more difficult in the fuse box to, as I say, uh, differentiate between live and dead cables. So, so far, I'm happy with that. This one doesn't have a beeper in it, it's just LED lights up, and that's fine, the hearing's not so good, so I probably wouldn't be able to hear it. The 1AC-2 does have a bleeper, blipper, um, and also an on-off switch, but like I said, I've had gone for this one, really, because it's always on. You don't have to worry about switching on and off, which is not a great hardship, but the older devices I had were like that. You just pull them out the cupboard two years after you put the battery in, and it was still good. So, yeah, that works there. We, Get over to the jolly old fuse box and have a look in there and see if we can, you know, have a little buzz about, see what happens. Right, well, we'll try it in the fuse box. Bit dodgy one-handed work going on. But here comes the tester. <laughs> We're about six inches away and it's lit up. So... That's a bit closer, but that's not going to help me in the fuse box. We, obviously, it's live at the bottom here. This is where the mains comes in through the fuses or circuit breakers. But, yeah, to try to detect an individual cable in here, you're not going to do it with this tester, which is a shame. 
Uh, I was hoping it would be a little bit more insensitive, if you like, to uh, the, the other one I did earlier on the YouTube. But no, not to be in a fuse box. Of course, there's a mass of live cables going on and bus bars, etc. So uh, I probably should have expected that, but I did hope it was going to get a little bit closer. So yeah, back to the DVM for a fuse box by the looks of it. You do get a book of words with it, be it only two-sided sheet of paper in many different languages. Uh, operating instructions, I'll put these online. These will be a link from my Google, uh, Google Drive to uh, pick all this information up, as will it be information on the other two devices. This takes uh, two AA, uh, AAA batteries, forgive me, two AAA batteries. Hold the end here, hold the body, gently untwist it. And what's quite nice, it's all captive, rather than the batteries being loose in the barrel. They're all here. So uh, get energised the batteries with it, which is you know, a fairly good quality battery. I'd swap them for Duracell when they die, but I don't know how long it's going to last, but I would have thought probably 12 months or so, depending on usage, perhaps even longer with um, decent batteries. But yeah, all in all, very happy with that. That'll go in the tool case. Uh, from the same company I bought it from, and links will be uh, online and in the description, you get a little bag with it. So if you wished, you can put your little fluke in there, keep him nice and safe and warm. There's also room for other stuff to go in there as well, or you can just chuck it in with the other tools, but this will give it a bit of protection and the manufacturer or certainly the supplier's name there. So, but yeah, these are available from Amazon and eBay. Uh, it'll all be in the description. So go and have a look. And uh, if this is the sort of thing you want for home, terrific. Not any good in the UK, in the US, remember, this is only good for 200 to 1,000 volts, even though online Fluke tell me it's good for 90. I can't test that. So, uh, yeah, I hope you found that interesting. If you have, thumbs up would be great. Thanks for watching.